two minutes to talk about versioning within OneDrive and SharePoint. So if you're an end user, you can log on to your OneDrive here and see all of your working documents. And for example, if I want to see the version of this particular file, I click on the ellipsis and version history, or I can click on the version history at the very top here. And what SharePoint and OneDrive is doing is automatically taking uh, the major version of that document. Remember, this isn't a copy of the actual document. It's the delta changes between each. I can simply just click on this and it'll open it up and I'll be able to see that version. And I can overwrite that older version with the newer version if I wish to as well. Again, we can click on the ellipsis, we can restore, we can open the file and we can actually delete the version here as well. If you as an end user want to be able to change the versioning, you can do that quite easily. So if you click on the cog, go to site settings, and then under site administration, site libraries and lists, and then customize documents, version settings. And here I can see create major versions. And also I can do major and minor versions as well. And this keeps a copy of 500 different versions, which we can configure within here. Also within the full fat version of Word, and if you have the latest version of Office, if you click on the icon up here, you're able to see the version history down to who changed what file and what date and time they made those changes as well. And again, we can click on these to open those previous versions up and I can save those over the original version if I wished. Within document libraries within SharePoint, we could do the same thing. So if we go to documents and I'm a site administrator, I can click on the cog up here we can go down to library settings, version settings. And again, by default, all the major versions are set here, where again, I can tweak the settings per document library or per site, or if I'm a global administrator, then I can configure all these settings using PowerShell as well. That's it for this week. I'll speak to you again soon.